What's going on everyone, it's Big West here. So today I'm doing something a little different. Uh, as you can see in the title, uh, this is a thank you to one of my favorite YouTubers, Hot Damn I Rock, or Kane Carter, if you know him. So I, about a year ago, actually, I ordered uh, this package from him. Uh, it's crazy, it just came in a little while ago, but I've been like busy with other stuff, so I'm just getting around to open it now. Yeah, I've been waiting for this for a long time, just really excited. But before I go ahead and open it, I just want to talk about my experience with Kane's channel. So, like, going back is probably like one of the first channels I can remember subscribing to on YouTube. There was a lot of videos back then, I can't even remember exactly which one was the first that I saw but it was either like five things I don't understand about women or uh, Christmas equals bitches. <laughs> and I, it could have been the Christmas one because I, that's the first one I really remember watching like over and over and over and rewinding and the funniest part is right in the middle when he's doing the whole Santa, like the black Santa thing. Yeah, so that was like my earliest memory of that. And I just thought like his channel was so good. He inspired me to start my own channel. Like even though it was years later, still when I was in the process of making my channel, that's one of the, the first channels uh, I had in mind of kind of what I want to be like, or not necessarily be like, but be as impactful, I felt. Uh, if you follow me on Snapchat, or like any of my friends that know, or even if you remember my earliest video, uh, where I do the whole, like my friends call it like the snap magic thing, where you like put your hand over the screen before and after and haircut. I straight up stole that from uh, his who took my shit video. And so that's, you can see right there, I thought that was like so cool what he did to start a video. I'm like, that's what I wanna use to like start my channel like thing. Just like, uh, is one of the most, uh, it's so simple, but it was so effective. Uh, and grabbing your attention. So that was one thing I, I took uh, from him. And so going forward, like I, uh, I remember uh, way back in the PS Suck My Dick video. That was like one of the first times I really like took in how real Kane could get. If you're watching this, like I, I thought like, yo, you were really gonna like quit your channel and like that was the end of Hot Demo Rock right there. And I was like, whoa. And I was not ready for it. I got like super upset. Cause I remember back in high school, and I didn't have the money to like support you or I didn't have a credit card, I couldn't buy stuff online. Uh, I always watched it videos like, man, I wanted to watch a documentary. Like I really wanted to. And there's like, no, I didn't feel like bothering my parents for theirs to send some random guy over the internet money for some DVD. Like it just, yeah, it didn't seem like something I should be doing, but I really wanted to. And then after that video came out, I was like, man, like I'm messing up for the real fans. Cause I was like, Man, I, I really want to support this guy and I can't. And then the other people that are just like talking stuff in the comments and cheesing, getting you upset and hurt. I like, it felt like nothing I could do. And I thought like, wow, this guy's about to just end his channel and that's it. And I couldn't even do anything about it. So um, I was upset that you, I uh, upset that like, I thought that was gonna happen, but relieved that you didn't. And I always remember like, yo, like if ever I can't support, like I, always, I really want to one day. And then the next time I took in how real uh, he got was uh, in the My Response video when uh, you had the allegations of plagiarizing jokes from Patrice O'Neill, who's uh, another like good comedian I got introduced to in high school. Uh, and I was just like amazed that the, the passion you put into the video and like the anger that was there, but it wasn't coming from like a, a place of like self-defense. You were explaining just with a lot of passion and it came off as anger, but it's like you could see that it was just a place of realness. And I was one of the people who stuck by it. I didn't believe in the whole plagiarizing business because what you said makes sense. Like you've been doing this for how many years, but just all of a sudden now people are discrediting your whole legacy because of a couple of videos or a couple, a couple lines when it was coming from a place of honesty, like you said. It was a big mess and I'm just glad that that didn't discourage you. And that's another way that I, I aspire to be like you. That when something real hard, I haven't got my test yet, but when that comes, am I gonna be able to, to stand up and persevere and go through and not let it destroy everything I worked hard to build myself. And then uh, the other video I wanna bring up is the end of Hot Damn I Rock. And you said some real stuff in that video. And you've said little nuggets 
uh, here and there in, in all your videos. That one really stuck home with me because I was going through my own uh, personal battles and and I don't want to get into it, but like there is just some things that really hit home. And I know that was uh, what you're trying to do, trying to speak to some people. And I was one that hit, like one of the lines you're like, are you, am I the only one that Googles painless ways to kill themselves? And I was just like, whoa, because that was something that like, I've actually done before. I was going through my tough times and that was really uh, emotional for me to say the least. So that was another way I just felt like I connected with you. And I, I really thank you for you being able to say stuff like that and you looking out for your subscribers. And I like the change that the channel is going, even though it's not the comedy anymore so much. It's uh, you're, you feel that you're doing your job and you're looking out for everyone. So I really appreciate the things that you're doing uh, still and everything that you have done. And because of stuff like that, like I, you've always been an inspiration for me. I think probably even the reason why I started recording my videos in the bathroom is just because of watching you and that just kind of felt comfortable to me. So that's immediately the first place I thought to record is the bathroom because that's where I've seen all your videos. So that's probably why, I, uh, that's definitely today why I came back to record here even though I've been looking for a new space to record. And so yeah, I just wanna say thank you again for everything that you've done for me in the past. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna finally open this package now. It's been so long that I ordered the shirt. I don't even remember what shirt I actually ordered. So uh, let me just check this out. Yeah, there's a box here. I remember I wanted to buy two, but like I didn't have the money at the time. So if you ever decide to re put these videos out or put the shirts out again, I will be first to buy. There's like the logo here. And like I know you said not to put the shirt on, but like I, I got it one time. I didn't, I have to. I might put this away, maybe just for special occasions, but I am treating this like a piece of memorabilia, like you said. Uh, this means a lot to me, but I do want to show it off, especially for the people who don't know. Uh, I just got the classic hot thing on my rock. <laughs> I actually really thought I got a good head, my bad. But no, definitely thank you. Hold on, I'm trying to sign real quick. I was about to call you out because you said all these are gonna be autographed, but this is all black, but they're not on, it's right. All right, there, my king, you did it. So hold up. So, it's on the fits. Thank you again so much, Kane. So, more of this story is, thank you, Kane. Uh, thank you for the shirt. Thank you for all the goodies in the box. I'm gonna check that out in a bit. I love the direction of where the channel's been, uh, where it's going. I'm super, super excited for any new videos you have coming out. And uh, I know you're not going to probably, but you know, I just gotta, gotta ask, you know, everyone wants a brotherly love three or not your nice three. Uh, so I'm just putting my request out there too. I'm not expecting it, but it'd be a great surprise. But thanks again so much. I'm gonna continue doing my YouTube stuff. Uh, if you ever see this, just, it's a big thank you. And uh, just keep doing what you're doing. Oh, and also before I forget, uh, just some of my favorite videos are five things I don't understand about women, Christmas sequels bitches, alpha and pack niggas, the whole that nigga series, and then meeting the family. Uh, so yeah, those are like some of my favorite, favorite uh, hot demo rap videos. And Kane, uh, I don't know how many Canadian fans that you had or people you sent packages out to in Canada, but if there's only the one, that was me. So I'm your Canadian fan. Thank you for sending that up north. I do not take that lightly. I appreciate that so much. So once again, thank you. Actually, uh, I'm gonna include a list of my favorite Kane Carter videos. Uh, the links are all gonna be in the description. Uh, yeah, and go check out his channel because it's absolutely hilarious. And uh, if you're going through any personal stuff, uh, his later videos, they're a lot of help. And uh, everything is coming out. It's going to be for the good of everyone. So just check him out. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just check him out. Subscribe to him. 
It's amazing. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out.